Tommy Couch is a native Floridian and a lover of the farm life. Lived in Florida all my life. I was born and raised here, and I um, worked many different jobs until I started working for uh, Owens, Illinois. It's a glass factory out there on the I-4. Then I uh, moved out here to Mines for my later years. I got family, my wife, two daughters, a grandbaby, two grandbabies now. I just had one just born three, four months ago, and I'm a proud grandpa again, you might say. So it's pretty much about my life. I'm just a farmer type, country kind of boy. I just lived out in the country all my life, so I'm pretty healthy, I guess. I all I got now is basically a couple of chickens out here, and a cat, and a dog, and, and a couple of donkeys. So um, that's about what we got right now. When working on the roof of a building over 10 years ago, he fell victim to the Florida heat. I was working on a building taking a roof off of it. And uh, I got up there on the building, taking this metal off the, shing uh, the sheets of tin. And it was hot, real hot day. You know, summertime is hot here. And uh, I just stood up and I passed out. And when I passed out, I fell through the rafters and I must have hit the rafters and flipped because I landed upside down in a bathtub. And uh, before, before all this happened, I had kind of like some back pain. And I don't know if that's what you call chiropractic work, but uh, my back pain was gone after that incident of landing in that bathtub. Had a big old knot on the side of my head. And I think that's might have started my neck pain at that point. That's where I think it began. My neck was never right since then. As his pain progressed, he began losing motion in his neck. In the beginning, it was just a little stinging. You know, you turn a little bit and it'd be like a kink in the neck. My neck would pop, actually pop every time I try to straighten it out or curve it. Then it got to the point where I couldn't hardly turn it. I'd have to turn my body to, like when you're driving to look right or left, you kind of had to like turn one way or other. It started getting worse and worse. And even out when I'm working, you couldn't hardly work without it, without driving you up a wall. And then sleep, I couldn't hardly lay down and sleep, couldn't find anything to comfort it. And uh, if you did, you're lucky. But uh, I tried to take pain pills and stuff to relieve the pain, but it just didn't seem to work, be working. Before finding Benati, Tommy met with physicians from other facilities. You know, when you walk into a, like Lakeland General, you know, or go into Tampa's hospitals or any other hospital, they all look alike to me. You know, you walk in and you don't know who the doctors are. And I really don't know any doctors that I feel like I could trust. And the one I did thought I could trust that one day He's the one that said he's going to cut through the front and work around to the back. And I'm thinking, well, the pain's in the back more. Why are we going through the front? Well, that's the only way they can do it. And I'm thinking, ah, this don't make sense. So I went to this other guy, and he said, man, I wouldn't touch that neck. He says, the odds of you coming out of there paralyzed are good. I, like I said, I just kept looking and looking for somebody or somebody to, to straighten it out, you know, to try to correct it if they could. During a consult, Dr. Benatti addressed a secondary pain Tommy assumed was unrelated to his neck. After that revelation, he began his procedures in February 2016. So they started going with the x-rays and stuff and they showed what was on my neck and uh, they saw the pain, you know, where the pain was at. They were pointing out the right things, telling me exactly what was wrong, where the nerves, like I had numbness going down my arm and they were saying this one here was doing that, you know, certain vertebrae. And uh, then Benati stepped in and said something about, do you ever get chest pains? And I said, oh yeah, yeah, I used to get two or three times now. I went to the hospital checking it out because I thought I was having a heart attack or something. And when I get there, they say, you're in great shape. There ain't nothing wrong with you. And I'm thinking, okay, so what is it? And they couldn't come up with anything. But he was describing it perfectly. I mean, he said, did it kind of shoot down your arm and then kind of like under yourself and then worked the way into the chest? I said, yeah, that's exactly how it worked. I said, it worked right up there and it's just real sharp pain, like I was having, having an indigestion or something. When he got done, he said, well, when we get done, that should pretty much take care of it. I said, I hope so. The targeted and patented Benati spine procedures are performed using conscious IV sedation. This allows the patient to communicate directly with the doctor to ensure the main source of the pain is eliminated first. The first surgery, when I had the pain the most, you might say, was uh, when he was doing that, you could feel immediately uh, like, like 
something just released, you know, it opened up something and it started letting it flow. And I said, man, that feels a lot better. And he said, well, move your arms, you know, because they'd let you move once he stops for a minute and let you move around. And everything was pretty good. And I thought, this is pretty good so far. So the next one, I was kind of wondering, should I be getting them that quick? But it didn't seem to bother me. The way they go at it, I thought it was neat because they just, they make a small incision and then they insert this thing in there. I guess it opens up and makes it bigger. And he's not really cutting muscles. He's just pushing them away. And then he gets down to the bone or the area where he needs to work. And then he does all his work. And like me, I, I'm working around the mechanic stuff and the small tools he's got are real small little things like a little grinder, little tw uh, tongs that he just breaks, you know, takes the bone out and stuff. And I thought, man, this is neat the way to watch it. And I thought, here I am watching my own surgery and I should be jumping or something, but I wasn't, it was pretty good. Everything just went away. The pain was gone. The nerve, the, the clicking of the bone, you know, the, the, like where it was kind of catching. That went away, and uh, I was fascinated by the way they did it, you know, by just watching them do it, you know, and it was, it was neat. I thought it was neat. And like I said, the whole place is just pleasant to work at. I mean, everybody's pleasant. Everybody's there trying to make sure you're comfortable and happy and, 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 and have no problems. And it was fantastic. I enjoyed the place. Tommy now has full range of motion and is back to getting a peaceful night's sleep. Well, I'm sleeping better and I can uh, turn and look better. You know, I can really turn my neck either direction or up, down, and, you know, it's not a problem now. Before, it was like, man, I tried to turn like this way and you could feel the pain any direction, you know. So it didn't really matter where I turned my neck, it hurt. But uh, now, like I said, it's just, it's easy. It just moves so smooth. The way they talked, the way they explained the procedure and everything, I don't think they had any shadow of a doubt in their own head that I wouldn't be able to walk right out of there with no problem. I mean, they, they uh, talked like this was like an everyday thing, like changing the oil in your car, you know, or something like that. I mean, they just, they said it would, you should feel almost perfectly fine. And if not, we'll take care of the problem. You know, we'll, we'll come back and work on it. But like I said, I went in, I had pain, and when I left, I felt great. I mean, it's just unreal. I would prefer him to anybody, you know, anybody at my work, any place. I mean, it's, the man is a good, he knows what he's doing. His whole crew knows what they're doing. There's this unreal. I mean, some place you go in, you got some not so nice nurses or some of the other doctors might be grumpy or stuff, but that wasn't it. I mean, these people were all trying to help you and work with you and make sure that you had just as much comfort and no problems with the pain. If you did have pain, they were gonna try to find a way to get rid of it for you or help you to get away rid of it. And uh, I really enjoyed it the whole time. I mean, you know, being that it's an operation, you don't really wanna enjoy it. But I, I mean, to me, I was a lot more relaxed than most. And I saw so many people coming in with pain and so many of them walking out with no pain. That's what really got me more about wanting to, to do it, you know, go through this procedure. And it, it worked out good. I'm happy I did now.